Hello everyone. Here is my next step to analyze RNA-seq data to compare gene expression in breast cancer triple negative cells MDA-231 with gene expression in estrogen receptor positive cells MCF7. In the part 1 of this analysis, I uploaded FASTQ files from GSC188914. Three FASTQ files from MCF7 and three from MDA-231 were submitted to a pre-existing workflow in GeneXplain platform. The workflow includes subreader line, feature counts, and LimaVoom methods to process the FASTQ files. In the second part, I showed the workflow output files, including the list of upregulated genes, as shown here. When we sort by log full change, we can see the list of upregulated genes here. Today, I am mapping these upregulated genes to the gene ontology terms, to diseases, and to pathways. My aim is to focus on a functional group of genes to analyze them further by applying the upstream analysis. On the start page, under the category Discover Functional Enrichment of DEG, there is a category Functional Classification with many set workflows. Now I open this workflow, mapping to ontologies human PSD. I need to mention, to be able to apply this workflow, I have got a license for human PSD and TransPath. Let's have a closer look to this workflow. As shown here, the workflow maps the input genes to human PSD geo categories, to TransPath pathways, to Reactome pathways, to human CYC pathways, transcription factor classification, and also to human PSD diseases. To execute this workflow, the list of upregulated genes is dragged and dropped inside the input form. The species is auto-selected or we select it as human and we define the output path name and press run. The workflow starts executing. Upon completion, all output files are automatically opened in the workspace. Let's have a closer look to each output file in a bit more detail. Ensemble and Entree genes are my input genes annotated with Ensemble and Entree gene ID respectively. Functional classification mapping can be seen in the table Human PSD Biological Process, Cellular Component and Molecular Function. Each row presents details about one enriched ontological term. The column ID comprises the identifier of the ontological category. Here, identifiers from geobiological process is shown. Column title and group size further contains more details about the ontological terms. The title and the number of genes linked to this term in the corresponding database. Here in human PSD. The column expected hits shows the number of genes expected to fall into this category by random chance based on the size of the input set and the size of the category here, biological process. The column number of it shows how many genes from the input set fall in the ontology term specified category. In the column, in the title cell cycle, 894 genes are there, which are explicitly shown in the hit names. When you click more, we can visualize all these genes here. The table Transpath Pathways shows the list of pathways that are regulated by the input gene. We can open the pathway by clicking on the accession numbers. We can zoom in a bit to see the exact more detailed view of the pathway. The table Transcription Factor Classification includes the transcription factors from the input gene set that are classified based on the standard transfer classification. Next, I open the results of mapping to human PSD diseases. Some of my input genes are known biomarkers for these diseases as it is manually curated in the human PSD database. In the column category, the classification of biomarkers is shown, correlative, causal, preventive, and more types. 
Since I am studying the gene expression in triple negative breast cancer cell lines, I select the genes involved in breast neoplasms for further study. I save this gene list as a separate table. To select this, I select the row and press Save Hits. The resulting list of genes is saved in the tree of my project. It is automatically open. These are 437 genes. All these genes are curated as causal biomarkers for breast neoplasms and these genes are all significantly upregulated. I plan to further analyze this interesting list of genes to identify regulatory transcription factors as well as the master regulators in signaling networks. My aim is to suggest master molecules involved in regulation of gene expression in triple negative breast cancer cells. This will come in the next part.